Hi guys, welcome back to another video of Ajuvet channel. So today's topic will be about a pharmacological point of view topic or uh, anesthetics. The video will be telling about some anesthetics and some contraindications in some species. So the details will be about rabbits and atropine. So we have heard there is some problem between rabbits and atropine. So atropine and rabbit has got a relation so we will be studying that in this video so if you haven't subscribed this channel yet please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates so atropine won't be working in rabbits yes atropine is actually anticholinergic drug in case of any surgical procedures we will be using atropine as a pre-anesthetic anticholinergic pre-anesthetic so we have seen many class of pre-anesthetics that is anticholinergic pre-anesthetics opioid pre-anesthetics butyrophenone pre-anesthetics etc etc so they belong to the class anticholinergic so they will be presented as atropine sulfate injection 8 milligram per 20 ml it can be used for im iv or subcutaneous use so in case of rabbits we will not be using atropine sulfate as the pre-anesthetic why so this is atropine you'll be knowing it is uh, derived from atropa belladonna it's a plant so you normally used as a pre-anesthetic in surgery mm, but here it can not be used as a pre-anesthetic and this has got anticholinergic activity so the anticholinergic activity be, will be made use in case of pre-anesthetic point so why we are not using atropine in case of rabbits because the enzyme atropine esterase which is present in the liver causes the rapid hydrolysis of tropane alkaloids such as atropine and scopolamine so the liver of the rabbit will be producing many enzymes that can break the atropine and it will be rapidly hydrolyzed so what happens there is no action of atropine so the enzyme is known to occur in certain proportion of rabbits. So rabbit serum will be containing atropinase enzyme, atropine esterase, whatever it is known as atropinase enzyme. So that enzyme will be breaking atropine into pieces and pieces and pieces. So that atropine will not be having any action. They will never bind to any area. They will never produce any action there. So atropine won't work as a pre-anesthetic in case of rabbit. So we will be going for some other anticholinergic pre-anesthetic drugs which will be having much more action in case of rabbit. So this is a very famous drug which is used as anticholinergic pre-anesthetic and this is mainly used in case of small animal practice. So the name of the drug is glycopyrrolate. So glycopyrrolate would be helpful in case of anticholinergic activity in case of rabbits. So this is actually the glycopyrrolate injection. Thank you.